All right, what's up everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. So today I'm gonna go over what is GCLID, AKA what is your Google Click ID? So GCLID, you'll see here at the back of this URL, GCLID equals a specific set of, you know, numbers, letters, different things like that. I'm gonna go over what this is, why it's important. Um, so just to get started, the first, the main thing with Google Click ID is it passes information from your Google AdWords clicks to Google Analytics. So the way to do that first is to make sure you have your accounts linked. So in AdWords, what you wanna do is start in your account, go to tools, go to linked accounts. There's gonna be a list of different options there. What you wanna do is click on Google Analytics. Once you click on Google Analytics, you're gonna see these different pages here, uh, different analytics properties, and it's gonna say status linked. So what you wanna do under actions, make sure you have your account linked here in AdWords. And we're also gonna go over to Google Analytics here. So we have Surfside PPC open here. We're gonna to go to our admin screen. We wanna to come to Google Ads linking. Okay, and what you're gonna see here is you can set up a new link group to make sure you have your uh, both of your accounts linked together. So we're gonna just gonna click on it. I'm gonna show you this real quick. Um, so up here at the top, it's gonna to say select link Google Ads account. So you wanna make sure you have yours uh, connected from there. Under link configuration, so this is important, click on link configuration after you have this set up. Um, you know, come into view, you could do select all, all website data. Right here in advanced settings, you're gonna see auto tagging allows analytics to automatically associate Google ad data with customer clicks. So that's done with Google click IDs, GCLIDs. Um, so we're gonna click on advanced settings here. Make sure enable auto tagging on any Google ads accounts that were added to the link group, you know, recommended here and just click save. So that's it, done. So now we have both of our accounts linked and we wanna make sure that we have auto tagging set up in AdWords as well. So both of these need to be set up so we're gonna come back to AdWords here. Uh, so we're in our overview screen for our entire account. Um, so we're gonna scroll down to the bottom. We're gonna click settings here on the left-hand side. So you're gonna have an option for campaign settings or account settings. We wanna click on account settings. So you're gonna see tracking. Don't worry about tracking right now. Auto tagging, click on auto tagging. Tag the URL, people click through my ad. Uh, if you wanna scroll over and see, you know, it automatically adds a parameter to URL to help you track offline conversions and report on performance in Google Analytics, click on save. So it's as simple as that. And what's gonna happen is every time someone clicks on one of your Google ads, it's gonna append this to the back of it automatically. Once you do those three steps, link your Google AdWords account to your Google Analytics account. Make sure you have auto tagging set up in Google Analytics. Make sure you have it set up in AdWords. Now, why this is important is you're able to pass all this different data to Google, Google Analytics automatically without you having to individually tag URLs. So let's just say someone comes in to this to Google and they search how to promote your business online. Let's pretend it triggers triggers a Surfside PPC ad here. Um, so it's going to be ways to promote your business. Someone clicks on this ad right here. They're going to be taken to this page, and this is going to be added to the end of it. Obviously, it's going to be different than this. I just set this one up really quick. Um, just a little example. So what's going to happen now is Google's going to pass all of that different information straight into Google Analytics. So under your acquisition, Google Ads campaigns, you're gonna see campaign here. Um, if you're starting to get clicks and you're not getting this data here, that means your auto tagging or your linked accounts are not set up properly. So make sure you have this data here. Once you're getting it, that means everything is set up well. So what you can see here is it's gonna pass, okay, someone clicked one click from this campaign. It costs this much, uh, this much per click, one user, one session, pretty simple. Um, obviously they didn't convert here, so not a big deal, but or, it's actually our newsletter and giveaway goal. Let's see if they converted. So no conversion, not a big deal. So we're going to click on this and it's going to show which ad group actually sent that. So promote your business. We can click on keyword. So it's going to say how to promote your business. So that's going to be the keyword that triggered it. So add content. So ways to promote your business. So now you can see how everything connects. So someone types in how to promote your business online. It matched our modified broad match keyword of how to promote your business. Um, if we come up here, you can see ways to promote your business. This is the ad that someone clicked on to get to our website. <clears throat> so it's brought them to this web page here and we can see all of that in Google Analytics rather than going through the Google campaign URL builder which makes you you know, put in the website URL, the campaign source, the campaign medium. So you wanna use this for things like Pinterest, Facebook, different things like that to really track your campaigns in here. But when it comes to Google ads and even Bing ads, Bing ads, you could do the same exact thing. Go into Bing ads, go into your settings and you can set up auto tagging in there as well. Um, just go to your account settings and it's one of the options right there. 
So it's going to pass all of this information in addition to the cost data that we saw. So how much it costs per click, different things like that. And you're able to see all of that. And it's just based on this Google click ID that's added to the end of your URL. So really simple. Um, you know, if you ever see something where you're clicking on an ad or it's your own individual ad and you see a Google click idea at the end of it, that's all it is. It's just passing information from Google AdWords to Google Analytics. Um, and instead of passing it, you know, in a long URL like this, it just passes it with a quick little Google click ID. It's much cleaner. Um, and people don't really think twice about it after they click your ad. They just understand probably that it's just tracking set up, but they don't understand exactly how it's being tracked. So uh, pretty simple. What is GCLID? What is Google click ID? Um, this is it. It's able to let your Google ads account communicate with your Google analytics account and pass all that important data. So you can use it to make decisions for your campaigns. Uh, hopefully that was clear things up for you. If you had any questions about it, uh, thanks for watching our video today and make sure you subscribe to our channel.